Hi guys, I'm teacher Johnny and today I'm going to show you guys a delicious recipe for guacamole. Some of our students know this recipe because I'm a guacamole freak and I love to eat guacamole. And today I'm going to bring Johnny's famous guacamole recipe to you guys. Now, guacamole is a very personal thing. Everyone has their own taste. Now, this recipe is my recipe for guacamole. This is how I like my guacamole. So, we have here two small or medium avocados, yeah? And when I have two avocados, I like to use one onion, a couple of cherry tomatoes. You can use regular tomatoes if you'd like. A lemon, just to give it that kick. Uh, some olive oil. Salt, here I have pink salt, you can use any salt you want. And pepper, I really love pepper. And those are the ingredients for my guacamole. So to begin, we're gonna start with our avocado, of course, the main ingredient. And I like to cut my avocados like this. First, I cut them crosswise, and you go all the way around here until you get to the other end. Yeah, And now you're gonna be left with a beautiful avocado. Take out the seed. Now, to separate the avocado, I cut it sideways. And I get it here, and I just simply slide my finger through the bottom part until everything falls out. If you have a good avocado, it should just slip right off, okay? Now that we've already cut our avocados, now we are going to cut the onions. Uh, now you just got to take its little head off. And I like it chopped. Now that you've chopped your onion, this is called chopping by the way. Uh, when you leave it in very small pieces. You can just throw it on top of your avocado. Yeah. Get it here. Perfect. Now we're gonna cut our cherry tomatoes. Don't forget to wash them before, huh? I like to cut them all the way around and then give another cut in the half. What you end up with are these little uh, sort of triangles of tomatoes and you're gonna do this a couple of times Oof. Now after you've got all of that in there now, it's finally time for us to squash it up Try not to squash your tomatoes though. I, I particularly don't like to squash them some people do, but I don't. Now we have to squash our avocados. Let's go ahead then. Now you gotta cut your beautiful lemon. This is actually really important for your guacamole. It gives it a little kick. Pour it on top here. You wanna put your whole lemon Squish that nice in there. I like to put my lemon before the olive oil because it lets the lemon stick stronger to your avocado. Now you're gonna wanna put in some pepper. I really like pepper. So for me, the more the merrier. Let's start this adventure. Now we gotta finally put in our olive oil. Olive oil gives it a sort of uh, fatty taste a little bit and that's delicious for guacamole. Don't be too shy with your olive oil. And last but not least, we are gonna add our salt. Now this, you can put as much salt as you like. It depends on your taste, as I said before. Now the last step is just mixing this delicious paste 
all together and you guys will try it at home, you know? It just stays simply amazing. This recipe, all my students love it, even the students that don't actually like avocados. Um, I, I've only had good experiences with this recipe. Mm, now this is delicious. Can, can I have a chip? Mm, let's try this out. I like my tomatoes on it. Mmm, perfect. As you said before, I'm a huge guacamole fan, and to me this is amazing. Now, this is an amazing party dish for you to take to an encounter with friends or something. Uh, I, I love guacamole, and I'd love to know if you like guacamole too. Uh, leave a comment below so we can know what you guys think about the recipe. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and just click on that little bell next to the subscribe button. It'll make you happier and it'll make us very happy also. So thank you very much for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Mm.